I wanted a steel band, I, really because I like them, and that's, that's, that's more or less it. I mean, I like the sound, I like the idea of them, and I like how they look. I knew I needed some sort of music for the pavilion, but also I needed a soundtrack for a film. So it's a very important part of the film. It's, it's the, it's, the only sound is the steel band. I wanted the Bowie track to be more or less a straightforward cover version, what I'd call a straightforward cover version. Very strong, very powerful sounding song. And the Voodoo Ray to be a bit more playful, to have breakdowns, little solos almost, slightly more Caribbean feel to it, with the percussion especially. So to flesh it out almost. Uh, so that's what I was hoping for. And for the Vaughan Williams to just be this sort of very tone, tonal, sound almost, this sort of ambient sound, very powerful ambient sound. It's funny how you get to a studio and then everything changes when you can hear it clearly through all these different monitors and microphones that actually you realise what the song really is. Here everything is clear and if someone makes a mistake you hear it. My name is Robert London, um, one of the sort of senior players in the band and also arrange some music for us as well. I'm Amy. I've been in the band since I was 12 in the Melodians, so it kind of feels like I've grown up with most of the people there. When Jeremy asked us to do these three pieces, I was given a choice. We were all given a choice. It's been, it was difficult at first because of the depth of the piece in the original version, David Bowie's version. But it's actually turned out to be my favourite of the three pieces. It was quite challenging, I'd say, because the song itself doesn't sound like there's a lot going on, but there are a lot of different parts sort of running through it. And to get it all sounding, you know, to try and get what Jeremy was looking for, took quite a bit of work and we, we sort of did a lot of practice on it. And I think we got there in the end. We've tried different types of music, as you know, um, in the past, and uh, different styles. And um, with the Vaughan Williams, well, that, because we do a lot of classical pieces in our repertoire, so the Vaughan Williams wasn't going to be such a challenge. But strangely enough, the, the, the one that seemed to be with the less, um, with the least amount of work, i.e. in terms of playing, which is Voodoo Ray, is, is the one that, that, because of the whole percussion bit in it, 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 it turned out to be the one, the one that gave us more problems. I think it worked out fine. I think everyone realised this, and like I said, this sort of rose to the occasion, which is good. It's good to have like a to record in a place like this. We have a sense of occasion about it, it's, uh, and it's important. The title is English Magic. I wanted to make it really more quite specific as an exhibition. There's a thing about Biennales and Biennale art is that often it's just a big object in a room or lots of things put on top of each other in a room or around each other. And I wanted to make something that was had a lot of things in. It was quite specific. It was almost journalistic, looking at things that are going on around, almost in a documentary fashion. But I wanted to use the word English, and I like the word magic because there's good magic and there's bad magic, and I wanted to sort of have, have both in the show. The magic of deception, but also the magic of wonder. And the, the music in the exhibition and the, sh uh, it, and the film is the, sort of one, the, the good stuff. That's the magic, you know, the cover version and the people playing together, that uh, is magical. And so that, that you hear throughout the show, that's very important. And it kind of keeps the show moving, really, it keeps the show together. I've made a pop video basically, sort of an esoteric, mystical pop video for the three songs. And they incorporate elements of, to do with the show, about archaeology, about tax and banking, about birds of prey, and about destroying Range Rovers. So a lot of the th themes of the show are in the film, some directly, some indirectly. And it was really important to have a film in the show 
to try and tie these things up. And also to make a pop video. I thought that was really important to make a really great pop video for the exhibition. And for these great songs, they deserve a great film. Three songs I chose all are quite dark songs, quite mysterious, quite moody, but are strangely uplifting at the same time. I mean, they really, all, all three of them from different eras, different generations, definitely products of the uh, uh, Britain, British culture. quite difficult to get a party atmosphere, but they, well, no, no, it's not difficult. I really wanted something that was most, well, obviously celebratory. I wanted something to be a bit more open. appreciate seeing a group of people playing music live. I think that's really something that as human beings we really enjoy watching it and it's very visual as well and the band obviously it's full of all different people from different backgrounds probably, different ethnicities, different ages and so it's, that's fun to see that, you don't see that so often. You know in popular music you never really see that. I think that's a big part of what we do we do feed off the audience and you know you kind of get a vibe when people are enjoying it and you know and if people start dancing you obviously feed off that enjoyment to have that mix and to have the this sort of the visual element and the percussionists and w watching people play and that re their relationships and their enjoyment I and mean, that's an infectious thing so it's as good as it gets really for me no, that's, I, I love that. I just stood at the side just smiling. And, and I, was, I wasn't going to film it, I wasn't going to take pictures, I just wanted to, to, for it to sort of wash over me effectively, sort of uh, absorb, absorb me, so I was, it was great. <laughs>